waiting for food, she'll get really bored. And then her behavior cannot be ignored. She'll grab your phone. She'll crawl on the floor. She'll stand on the table and let out a roar. Do you see the dragon here? What is she doing? Do you think that's nice? She's not being nice, right, at dinner? She's standing on the table. So do not take your dragon to dinner. She's making a lot of noise. The girl is even covering her ears. You may believe that once food is inside, your dragon will sit and be so polite. But he'll pick up his bowl. He'll drink with a slurp. He'll drink the food. The soup, I think. And then he'll let out a fiery burp. You know, like, burp, that's not nice, that's not nice. Let's see what happens with this dragon. Let's see what he does. <gasps> yes, he let out a huge burp. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Dragons are known for taking big bites. When the food spills back out, it's a terrible sight. That's something no one wants to see. Do you see? The crumbs of food are everywhere. No one wants to see that when you're eating. She pounds on the table. She hits it like this. She plays with her food. Do you see what this dragon is doing with the french fries? She's piling it up. He, she's playing. She picks at her fangs. She's very, very rude. Do you see we have a lot of different dragons? From this page, can you pick one? Point at it. Which one is your favorite? Even though they're all making very rude things, which one is your favorite? I think mine is this one. I like it. Even though she's pounding on the table. That's not something you should do, but I like that dragon. You can pick yours too. Let's see what happens next with these dragons. So do not take your dragon to dinner. Look all the mess that this dragon is making. Do you see all the food that is all over the place? You can see here some french fries, some chicken. This dragon is eating everything. A hamburger, pizza, a cake, a hot dog. She even spilled here the juice, I think it is. Wow, she's sitting a lot and she's making a mess. But my dragon is so very special to me. Celebrate without him, it simply can't be. He's part of my family, part of my heart. What can I do so we don't have to part? Do you see? This girl cares so much for her dragon that she doesn't want to celebrate without him or she, without him. So she wants to take him to dinner, even though he's going to make a mess. Ah, my friend, I sense your frustration. It means that we understand her. But dinner at home can be a grand celebration. That's right. You can have a great celebration at home. You don't have to go out and have dinner at a restaurant. You can make something very, very special at your home and the dragon can be with her, right? It says, you can ask your dragon to help with the meal. That's a very good idea. What do you think? Do you think that's a very good idea? It says, his flame can sear, his claws can peel. So you can see here how this dragon is helping the little girl to prepare the meal. The dinner. Right here, it's peeling the potatoes. I think they're potatoes. And here, he's preparing the meat. He can set the table, put each dish in its place. 
he can light the candles with incredible grace. It says here he can light the candles, you know, because he can, he has a flame, so he can light the, the candles. Then at dinner, practice, he can practice to be prepared when he goes out. At dinner, practice being polite. Sit still, use silverware, and try not to ignite. Okay? He, she's preparing him when, so when they go out, he can be polite and behave. Right here, you have the dragon behaving. He looks really nice, right? He's sitting down using the silverware very nicely and sitting properly, not like this, not like this, sitting properly. Ask him to use napkins instead of his wings. Remind him to ignore the phone if it rings. If the phone is ringing, just ignore it. Encourage him to close his mouth when he chews. How do you chew? Like this. No. With your mouth closed. So you have to tell the dragon. And be sure he remembers his pleases and thank yous. That's very important. You have to say please and thank you. Remember those. Practice this often and your etiquette beginner will soon be taking you out to dinner. So if the dragon behaves well, now you can take him to dinner. That's what the story says. And look, they are both very happy about it. The end. Did you like this story? Yes, right? It's really nice. I hope you enjoyed it. What was the part that you liked the most? The part that I liked the most, I'm going to tell you, is this one. When the little girl teaches everything to the to the dragon and he's sitting really nicely eating dinner that's my favorite part of the story what did you enjoy the most i hope you enjoyed the whole story well boys and girls of kinder 2a that's all for today i hope you enjoy practicing the shapes and the story keep practicing the shapes colors um, numbers, the days of the week, you can ask your parents to play the songs and you can sing and dance so you won't forget them, okay? Take good care of yourselves, I still miss you a lot and I send you lots of hugs and kisses and we're gonna see each other very soon. Bye-bye!